Well, hello there everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video we will be comparing two pilotkas, one reproduction from Schuster's and an original 1965 dated post-war example. The reason I'm using a post-war example compared to an original World War II one is because simply I don't have an original pilotka. However, as we discussed before, post-war Pilotkas from 1946 to 1969 onwards were identical to wartime ones with the usages of the correct fabric weave, uh, the stars being, you know, the same, similar enameled one piece example. The two, obviously, wartime ones also had the two piece examples, but uh, mostly they were identical to the wartime ones. So that's what we're going to be doing. And also this is a 1965 dated example, as you can see from here, made in Moscow. So this is a fairly late example, shall we say, till 1969, but essentially they stayed the same throughout the 19, late 1940s and 1950s and 60s. So let's get into it, shall we? Well, it's, as we look, take a look, as, let's just put the original aside. The Schuster's reproduction essentially replicates the uh, the cotton fabric that is the correct style with the double twill design and the general shape, of course, being, I mean, essentially the same as Pilotka's go. It, it does replicate it quite well, but one main issue with a reproduction like these as it comes new, unused, is that, as you can see by the reflection of the light, it is essentially a little bit shiny, which is, you know, because of the modern materials that are mixed in with the cotton. It's not pure cotton. It has to have some synthetic material, synthetic blend in it, which causes the shine, which can easily be removed actually by actual use in the field and regular washing. So that that is something that's going to be done. And obviously the color is also, there's a little bit of a difference you can tell, but the Schuster essentially kind of does replicate the correct uh, style of weave and the correct look of the material, albeit the shine is a bit bit uh, not really essential. That's something we wouldn't actually would like to have, but it is it is acceptable. Uh, one thing that I'm not really sure about is the material used inside with the wartime ones and the post-war ones. Here we have a fake leather type of material that's basically canvas covered in rubber. And here we have that essential post-war Soviet canvas that is covered with leather, but it has a different feeling. Uh, obviously, I am not sure how this would have been done with wartime ones. I've seen examples without any uh, sweatbands or anything, but there's a major difference between, you know, the Schuster's reproduction and the original example here. The liner inside the Pilotka is, um, shall we say, similar. Obviously, the uh, post-war original feels a little bit denser compared to the Schuster's replica, but... I would say, essentially, it is uh, pretty much an identical replica with the shape and size, a general cut, the look, the feel. It, it is quite close. Obviously, we did talk about, you know, the shining uh, difference with the material being a problem, which can be fixed easily by use and, shall we say, washing. But... Personally, as someone who has a post-war reproduction, I would say for all essential purposes, I could use both of them for two different impressions. Um, for, for later war, I can use the Schuster's example, which I am planning to heavily age, essentially, to uh, get a late faded and uh, subdued look for this and for early war for basically 1941 40 uh, shall we say yeah 41 pretty much 1941 uh period maybe 42 i am able to use this pilotka even pre-war obviously uh, as 
as its surplus nature goes, there are some stains here which are most likely caused by it being under a tree and the seller not really checking the tree with, you know, the, the, the tree just like having issues. Uh, and also the star I have here, uh, which is a gift from a friend, Tom, who said that it was broken and, you know, had no way to attach it to his. So I just did, did some engineering and attached it there. They're pretty much identical to so one piece four time ones obviously the two time uh two piece there is a different kind but still uh for early war i would say it is possibly a good usable example well i hope you guys enjoyed this short video i know it wasn't you know something that was uh let's say the regular length but as essential um teaching goes so we say uh it was it was quite fun to make. I'm sorry if the sounds from outside or the corridor mess you up. Obviously, you know, studio flats. You're not going to be having the best, best sound possibility with, you know, work outside and people walking through the corridor. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it and hope to see you guys in the next one.